means what? Yeshua HaMashiach, Arabic Yeshua Hu Al Masihu, Greek translation Jesus Christ. Yo, if a right? content brings the world together, then call that. Before Gabriel was dispatched from heaven, he came from heaven to Mary. Remember, he told Mary, the holy thing that shall be born of thee, right? He shall be the savior of mankind, and you shall call his name Jesus. Yeshua Jesus. What you're not understanding, he is the eternal word. The word became flesh. The one, the word became flesh. God is eternal. Yeshua HaMashiach does not lie. He does not lie. He himself said, it is written. Let every man be a liar, but let God be true. Joseph, now that you've read all that, right? Can somebody please show me where okay. Jesus said his religion was Christianity? He didn't say that. He didn't follow it. Like Christianity. He didn't say that. Okay. Okay. Does that answer your question? Now? And yet, you okay. Can I can I share my my message here that I'm here for? And yet, and yet, can and I yet. share what I'm here for? And yet, you're can I share what I'm here for? Did, did you, well, you know what? You know what? What I'm here for. Listen. You just hear what you told Can I share what I'm here for? I'm here to tell you that there's a God who loves you, and He loves you. The religion that you're on is not. The religion that I preach is the preach is the religion that God has always been sharing, and it's the the religion of God's love and His mercy to mankind. He wants you to be in a relationship with Him. He's always wanted to be in a relationship with you. We've disconnected our lives from God because of our sin. Sin is what separates you from God and true peace. Sin is what sends you to hell. You can believe whatever you want to believe. If you believe there's any path to God by yourself without the mercy and forgiveness of God, you're deceived. Your sin separates you from God and God sent Jesus to take away your sin. He is the revelation of God's forgiveness and salvation to mankind. This is the truth. And this is the witness of God from the beginning right into the end. And if you deny what Jesus Christ did for you, you deny the mercy of God for you. And the only thing that abides with you is the wrath of God. And the wrath of God is coming. And it's already here. It's already upon your life. In fact, anyone that's not in paradise today has the wrath of God on their life because of the consequences and the curses of sin. That's why Adam and Eve was cast out of heaven. That's why each one of us need the revelations of God. That's why prophets are sent to people like you and I is because of our sin. We've distanced ourselves from God and God is saying, come back to me. God continue to, continues to extend his hand of mercy to all of us, all of us, whether you're Muslim, Hindu, whatever you are, Catholic, God loves you. God cares for you. I'm just telling anybody. I don't care who you are. You could be homosexual today. You could be whatever, but God is reaching his hand to you, saying, you have gone astray. You disconnected yourself from him, and I'm making a way for you to come back. That's the message that I preach. If you're telling me that this message is a lie, then no religion can help you. No religion can help you. Because what is religion for anyway? To reconnect you back to God. And if you don't believe God made a way for you to be reconnected, then what are you preaching? What are you believing in? And that's why I don't believe in any other religion, because no other religion that I know gives anyone, no one, assurance of their salvation, except the faith of Jesus Christ. Why? Because this is the only faith that deals with sin, which is the problem. In fact, why are people telling people to believe in Sharia law or, or the Torah law or anything like that? Why? It's because the law keeps people from sin and causes people to live righteous. That means that without law or without God's law, there's anarchy and there's chaos and so God sends his prophets with his word so that we would be rightly guided why does he care because he wants us to be in a relationship with him because his words reflect his character God lives by his word because his word is his character it's his manifest attributes and the only one that lived his manifest attributes perfectly was Jesus Christ. 
That's why Jesus Christ reveals the invisible God, and that's why Jesus Christ is called the Son of the Living God. And that's why we need Jesus, because in order for us to know God, we must know Him through His revelation. And Jesus is the only one that revealed the character and attributes of Almighty God. You cannot know the Almighty God without His revelation, and Jesus revealed it to you. And Jesus revealed the salvation and mercy 